Should we get yeah. And a whole bunch of them besides. Yahoo, yeah, Yahoo, yeah, Yahoo. So what were so, we talking about before? What happened last week? I don't know. Oh yes, I napped one to the roll. And you saw heaven. Oh, that's what that was. <laughs> all right, so last week on The Hateful Sun, Ollie soaked in a lake, battered by an incredibly annoying Kenku. Not that there's a whole lot that aren't annoying, but this one, quite annoying. <laughs> um, Ollie stayed in the lake, basking in the riveting conversation until she just couldn't take it anymore. And then she wandered up kind of in a broken manner because like possibly dislocated vertebra but you know it's just like we're gonna put some ice on it it's fine no ice in the desert though so mm. um and uh ollie made her way just, you know into town looking around seeing what's what and she saw makan the devourer and makan was just kind of looking really sad looking upset had some rope in her hands, and Ollie thought, oh, better, better uh, check that one out, right? Uh, so Ollie, as Shang, followed Makan all the way up to the big clock of Blue Rock Lake, where she uh, watched Makan uh, tearfully, tearfully uh, tie herself to the clock, um, and then tearfully cry, which was a little bit awkward. <laughs> Ollie wasn't really sure if she should go talk to her or not. or So she just sat in the sand and kind of, you know, dug around in it with her feet. Point of order, you know. she tied herself to the statue, not the clock. Oh, darn, darn, yeah, yeah. Ollie gets things mixed up sometimes, you know. <laughs> such, a, such a drunk. Um, so anyways, uh, then Ollie, as she's digging around in the sand, she sees the mayor come up and he's holding a bouquet of flowers because he's going to go visit the grave of his dead wife. But he gets sidetracked along the way by the crying Makan, who they're kind of like equivalent size, surprisingly enough. Like, you know, him height wise, her width. <laughs> if we were to flip Makan as if on a on a 90 degree angle, then they would be like the same. Um, and uh, yeah, they got they got to talk in like they were actually having a good time. I'm kind of Ivan. And uh, yeah, so that's what happened last week. Uh, Get on with the game, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, you have an happened? entire session separate to us. Just uh just so the DM could fuck around with us when the uh, time came back. Yeah, oh that's that's all I know that happened. If you guys have like your own like series of events, like feel Oh like yeah, um, I can I can go <laughs> into that. You know, we were uh hanging out at the bar as more people came in. Um you know, started talking to some townsfolk, found out about that th thing that doesn't exist. Um, and it seemed that uh, Solus and Sunny uh, were, were, you know, having a pretty good conversation about something that doesn't exist. Um, only for uh, a flaming haired individual to come in, uh, for Solus to approach them, and then for him and you to get into a verbal altercation. Um, oh, yeah, Solus got hit on a lot. Then, uh,. You know, after some awkward introductions with the father and everything, um, eventually the place failed. We had uh, a little mock fight by the uh, Kenku to start us off, and then uh, the guard captain showed up with a, uh, uh, a Naga prisoner, threw them in the pit, and tried to set dogs on them. Uh, then Solus jumped in to try and save the Naga, um, only for the captain to then tell his guards to basically uh, capture Solus, as well as uh, Sunny and Erezid, who began uh, helping him. Um, you, who uh, was, who has, at this point, has entered the guard, um, played along with the guards, and uh, proceeded to help knock out Solus, and then Sunny and Erezid surrendered, and we are currently bringing them to prison. Sunny lit the place up. Mm. With fairy fire. Yes. We don't know if it's uh, in prison. So, uh, as well, the, uh... And that was the day we discovered that a turtle cannot have their hands tied behind their back. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. 
now. Uh, yes. I the think prison. my joke has successfully killed someone once again. <laughs> em died. Oh, and she's going to throw a chat. <laughs> All right. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's what happened on our end. I feel like we've been here before. <laughs> no, no. I mean, this time the DM had made... much more room for the guards to socialize. <laughs> Only this time the DM didn't make them stay and sing us all in together and expect to use to stay there for the course of several sessions. Well, who knows what's <laughs> going to happen next. Uh, <laughs> so, you uh Good. commanded by Izorn along with the rest of the guards and took Solus, Sunny, and Arizid down. Um, they took them to the guard barracks and then through a small hut to the side and then down some stairs and here you were put into the jail. Izorn uh, does allow Solus to get very basic healing so that he is stable uh, and at one HP. Yeah. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I believe the other two of you are up anyway. Because you are not fools. And Sonny can't be hit, even by banishment rolls. <laughs> it's on very. Um, scornfully looks at Solus's crumpled, mostly dead form on the bed. You shall sleep that off. And then we will see about your fate. Come, Kanda. Yes, sir. Okay, I like how they have prison cells that have deliberately smaller beds for the deliberately smaller people. They're very inclusive in this prison. It's also cheaper to make some smaller ones. Uh, Izorn takes you upstairs and out uh, of the prison. Well, he didn't take me. I'm still here. But I'm... Ch I'll get bored eventually. Ollie, uh, the Kenku that you were arguing with hopped off about an hour ago. You stuck around contemplating life by the, uh, the shore of the oasis. And then you hear fighting in this building here, which is the flagon. Oh my gosh, is it time for me to enter the flagon? You uh, don't hear the fighting for long, though. Mm. And then there is uh, quiet again. Oh, shit. There was that fight tonight. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, oh, my God, my back. As you oh, reach, never again. <laughs> as you reach over the, uh, by these bushes, uh, you hear clearly Izorn's voice. There is another. Go and find them. I think he's watery on the shores of the lake. Oh, not watery Ollie. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Ben lives over here, right? <laughs> I'm going for Ben um, house. <laughs> sorry, one sec. I'm just trying to find the relevant. Where the hell is she? A small figure peers out from this house. Hey, you're traveling with those guys, right? Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> they just got taken to jail. What? Come with me. Oh, uh, uh, okay. All right. Yep. Sure. I'm going with you. You're Pierre, right? That, that's right. Awesome. Okay. And she, whoops. 
you are now in this lovely prison here. Uh, Perry takes you down here. Okay. And oh. very sneakily takes out a key from her pocket and unlocks uh, this administration building. Come inside quickly. Yep. Oh, she so. Uh... The door behind the pair of you and takes you to her office. Oh wow, this is really, this is a really nice office. Uh, can I sit down? Yeah, of course. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I'm going to sit down. There are quite a few chairs around and a bench in the corner. Okay, uh, I'm gonna sit down on the bench and then I'm gonna grab my back and go, oh, and I'm gonna lie back. Oh, sorry, I just, uh, you know, it's really good for your core to just, uh, not enable it every once in a while. Uh, so, Puri, can you tell me what happened? One of your friends tried to kill the captain. What? What? Which friend? The fiery one. Oh, my fi- my fi- my fiery friend. Okay. Uh, I, like, just- just out of nowhere in the bar? Well, he was... turning the bloodbath into a... blood jacuzzi? Okay, yeah. I guess he has that capability. Um, but, uh, there- there was a- there was a bloodbath. Wow, I guess- I, I guess I missed a lot. You didn't miss anything palatable. Oh, uh, yeah, took, I mean. I think they took offence to it. Um, and they all jumped into the fight, all your other friends. Ah. Uh, but yeah. not all on the same side. Oh, let me guess. Uh... <laughs> The uh, the dumb looking one with the black hair and the freaky sword and the the billowy pants and the white shirt that's just kind of open down to the V just to show off his freakishly hairless body. Okay, damn, sure. <laughs> You've uh, spent a lot more time looking at his body than I have, but I think that is we are talking about the same person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just didn't want to confuse you by using his name. Confuse me? Well, yeah, do you know his <laughs> name? You. Yes, it is you. It's the dumbest name the world has ever heard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, alright, so, so you turned on everybody. It would appear so. <sighs> so, but where are they now? I did. I mean, it is worth pointing out that I did also see your friend uh, give the prisoner a very dignified execution. I'm not entirely sure he's not working with you. Uh, yeah. So you know everything. I don't know. It's really hard to get a, a read on you, but... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I thought I was quite open. I know, uh, you're, I, I find you... Like, I, well, okay, honestly, we haven't, we haven't talked for that long. I can't really tell how open you are, but I very much appreciate you helping me out. Um, I mean, you, it's, uh, it's hard to understand his motives at all times, but I don't think that he's the type to let somebody suffer. So that makes sense. He is of a decent, noble character. I saved you tonight because, uh, your friend, the fiery one, he gave me a token Ah, freedom. Okay, but what can I do about their freedom? Where know. are they? But you should run. Take well. turn your back on this town and walk far away. Mm -hmm. 
The resistance well. is a joke. Well, all right. So the resistance is a joke. So this town is just going to be run by a pack of assholes for forever. When you've got a slew of capable people. Maybe the resistance isn't a joke. Maybe you just haven't taken yourself seriously enough yet. We're not going to achieve anything with what we have. We are farmers and a herbalist. And if we kill this captain, another one will just come along. The problem is not this one man. The problem is the system. And we are not powerful enough for that. That is why we're a joke. That is why you should leave. You know what, Pierre? I think I learned something in Naglamond. I think I learned that things change all the time. And this is a place that needs some change. It could be great, but it's not there yet. So... <clears throat> Do you mind doing some planning with me here? Because I can't just walk away. Roll a persuasion check, please. Okay. Holy shit. Be persuasive. Be persuasive. Be persuasive. Not 20. I, I feel like I... Uh... <laughs> You have a 10 in I do, I do. <laughs> I mean, how bad was it going to be? <laughs> Congratulations, you rolled an 11. <laughs> and it's red for some reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Piri uh, bites her bottom lip. Maybe you're right. Okay. What do you want to know? First, tell me everything you know about D Darua and the pack of Kenku. We're going to switch scenes for a little bit. Okay. And we'll get back to that. Welcome to jail, guys. Nice to be here. Glad to be on the show. Now let's steal it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Is there anything in particular that you guys want to do with your little stint in jail? So I'm awake, right? <laughs> yeah. You are conscious okay. and at a, a singular HP. Nice. Okay. So. With severe amount of groaning and pain sounds, Solus will get up, walk to the front. What are the bars made out of? Like the metal. Okay. Ooh, big spender. Hmm. Would I be able to tell if anyone is nearby? Aside from my friends. Has it been close to eight hours? <laughs> it has been about eight hour? minutes. Yeah. Ah, that's, not uh, that's not long enough for snoring to have started or finished. You can hear gentle signs of life out of your vision. Like kind of someone... So I'm going to use, so first thing, to summon my packed weapon, so regardless of what I'm doing, I have a spellcasting focus, um, so I can just do that. So let me think. The most, like, frail, I guess would be a good word looking bar. I'm just gonna grasp hold of it and then try and cast produce flame. See if I can like do
do any damage. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to be like a two-fold thing. Um, yes. You're going to want to try and find the weakest bar. I'm just trying to sell. I think investigation would be the best uh, skill to okay. suit that. Okay. Uh, you see one that looks like a little bit more worn than the others. Um... It's one just to the left of the door. Okay. Just gonna head up, grab hold of it, and just try and melt it. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that um an attack or a save? I guess. I guess it would be an attack. Oh god, it's not set up properly. Hey. You heat up uh, your hand inside the bar. Um, the bar grows quite hot. Um, and it begins to very slightly brighten. But that is about all of the heat that you can put into it. Doesn't look any weaker at all. Or doesn't have any more give. Uh, you try and like prod it, but there's still a very solid center. Uh, it's not easily movable. You could try and force it um, with an athletics check. Sure, why not? Or an unarmed attack, if you prefer. <laughs> Although, I don't think you're going to turn that down. <laughs> <laughs> um, you do do a solid blow right to it and your uh your knuckles feel a little bit uh a little bit uh fresh and raw after that uh, but you don't appear to have done any damage to these bars it's just gonna let our say just give it a frustrated kick kind of stub his toe a bit just realize he's in is in severe pain in the moment and then just kind of hobble <laughs> over back here <laughs> What, how do Arazid and Sunny react uh, to Solus versus the bar? There's something going on, so go see what a something is. What can I see of something? You're able to see Solus from where you are. As you look. Um, unhappy and uh, bludgeoned. How does the uh, thing that went bang look? Uh, it's all it's already almost reverted back to its natural colour. The heat has faded quite considerably. <sighs> The one time in this, I should have had enhance ability ready. <laughs> oh well, I'm happy to wait for. Uh, I'm happy to hours? wait. For, yeah, I'm happy to wait for eight hours. Arizid. What? Is well, this? Um, Arizid is crying. Understandable. So there's that. Um. But I guess he's just going to sort of give his verbal support. To Silas? Yeah, something like, it's it's okay, you're you're hurt right now, just, just take it easy. Oh, there's a thought. Up over the bars again. Do, 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 do. Go closer to the bars! <laughs> uh, or sleep it off. 
Uh, hold on. The fuck out. Fuck out. Okay. Hi. <laughs> okay. Now we're in 30 feet. <laughs> and we've already established that I can see you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody forgot to confiscate the spells. Rookie mistake. Uh, that's my legs are hurting. That's something. But the rest of me is still in severe pain. So that's uh, fuck. <clears throat> Thank you. Anyway. And I hope someone gets here soon, because this is going to be fucking boring. You know what, I'm just going to... So, what happens if something tries to open the door? Um, Sonny will jangle his arm back and forth in place. What happens if something tries to open the door, but harder? Uh, roll athletics. Oh! Ding! Sonny is out of ideas. Captain Izorn takes you upstairs and back into the yard uh, outside the barracks. He turns to you and he says, You are done for the night. Return tomorrow. Very well. I do not think, except general, what's up? Actions I took. Am I able to get a bed here at the barrack? Very well. We'll nod, kind of stretch a bit. Um, I'm just going to go out and try and collect my things that I left at the Simpleton's house before I. Before they are taken, they are already. Uh, I'll return shortly. Very well. So Hugh's going to exit. Okay. He's going to uh, make his way past uh, the mystery meat curtains. You are being followed. I can notice I'm being followed. What's your passive perception, boyo? <laughs> yeah. Um, so you's going to make a very roundabout way. Um towards uh towards trims. Um he's going to uh, enter for a little bit. Okay. Um grab Doing anything in particular? Okay. Uh He's going to grab some stuff and write a note. Um, more or less, uh, just on the note is uh, he puts Ollie um, on like at the top, and then he writes, uh, "I'm still with you." Um, try and find me someplace. You know, uh, I'm going to try and steal a key. Try and find me some place secluded. We can break out, catch them by surprise. Um, he's not going to sign it or anything. He's then going to fold it up and tuck it into his pocket, uh, and then exit again. <laughs> I'm sorry, my mic was up. <laughs> You're going to fold it up and put it in your pocket because you know Ollie can't resist a note in a, in a man's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> because you already established a drop point that wasn't Trim's place. Uh, besides, he expects them to look there. Mm -hmm. um, so Yu's going to head into like this street area and try and shake off his uh, follower. Mm. 
Uh, so would that be stealth? Yep. You checks, is he still being followed? Yep. Uh, he continues his roundabout way by the lake. Okay. Um, I returning. Another. Oh. Something uh. to, you know, continue to be stealthy. Because you think yeah, he's doing really great. Trying fun. to slip. Um, the 19, let me get the slip. It will. Eventually, All right. you uh, it's... feel someone following you. As soon as he can, he heads down to the tree. Um, is there an obvious place to set something that won't be seen? Hmm. Do me a perception check there, please. Man, that's cool. Yeah, you see um, an area where there's like a, a reed growing up quite close to the base. Uh, where you could vertically tuck a rolled up piece of paper and it might look to many passers by like another bit of reed. Um, he's going to do just that. Take that note away. Hope that Ollie <laughs> remembers the, the drop location um, before kind of making a bit of a roundabout way to make sure that the uh, uh, person that was tailing him kind of sees him moving by the lake still. Um, before returning to the garrison. Uh, and then heading to bed. Are all your characters from here on out going to have names that could be taken out of context so easily? It's just endless terrible jokes. No, this one has a reason. It has a good reason. We just haven't gone to the point where anybody's figured it out. Well, when I, whenever I mean, somebody said, I love you, he thought, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Everyone loves me. Oh, I thought it was because we all want to... Uh, really funny. <laughs> we're all too angry at you. It's just like, fuck you! Works both ways. Eh, kind of. Uh, I did turn down my sensitivity very quick. I got a new headset, so I'm still trying to play with it a bit. Um, so hopefully this is better. If and now, max it and deafen everyone on the other end. Yeah, I completely forgot to add the uh, upper barracks map. <laughs> uh, so for now, you just go to bed. Back at the, uh... Oh, that's okay. where the uh, guy is. Okay. In that case, uh, we will jump back to... Piri and Ollie make a plan. All right. So first off, tell me, tell me, yeah, tell me about Darua. Darua? And uh, the crew, yeah. They are an impotent yeah. wench. All right, impotent right. wench. Impotent. Uh, uh, sorry, um, what, what's impotent? It means that they talk a big game, but uh, never rise to the occasion. Alright, alright. Coward. And their lackeys are just there as clingers on to power. They also do the work of Izorn. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. So the Kenku, if they were like to pick a side, they would go Yuzorn's side. Probably he is ultimately more powerful than a teenager. Yeah, you know what? I get that. I get that. Uh, but Darua, which side would Darua be on? Darua's side. Darua's side. I can work with that. All right. So, uh, members of the resistance. Hmm. I'm going to guess trim. Oh, yes. 
uh, bismuth. Um, uh, one of the twins, right? Right? Uh, Rengar? Yes. All right, all right, all right. And, uh, well, that's everyone I know in town besides you, so. <laughs> All right. Uh how how do how does the resistance meet? Normally at trims. Normally at trims, at trims. Hmm. But we only do so once a month. Once a month. When the moon is uh, full. And looking out the window at the moon right now, it's uh I was never a teenage goth, and I don't mean phases off the top of my head. Uh, <laughs> like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like halfway. Half <laughs> oh, ah, right. that's not as funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything was last night. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, is it tonight? <laughs> this ah, okay. universe doesn't have a moon. Never did. <laughs> I need one sun and no means this fucking place. All right. All right. Um, okay. I think... I think I know what I need to do, Piri. Uh, but I think I'm going to need your help, too. Uh, send a message uh, to Rengar and to Trim and to Bismuth uh, to meet here uh, uh, tomorrow evening. And for me, for right now, just for right now, I'm going to take your advice and I'm going to turn my back on this town. But just for, I'm going to be here tomorrow evening. I feel like there's some people or not so much people that I need to talk to in the desert. Very well. Do you want me to right. gather the other members or just those three? Oh, I, if there's more members, I'm sorry. That's literally everyone I know in town. We even have a couple in the guards. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, get those guys. Oh, my. Or, or girls. <laughs> I'm not here to judge. Neither. Neither. Uh, yeah, but get them, please. I yeah. do. Uh, what time All tomorrow? Right. Just after sunset? Yes, yes. After sunset would be good. Uh, the fights are only every week, right? At the enter the flagon? Yes. Uh, so it would be best... It would be best if Isorn was busy with something. Uh, Alright, oh, and uh, steer clear of you. He's a real fucking asshole. Um, Very well. But yeah, you know. Try to keep an eye out for him. You know, nothing, nothing too suspicious. You know, if if getting Rengar is too much of a too much of a hazard, you know, we could leave Rengar out of this. Uh, but yeah, please uh, assemble who you can, do it discreetly, and I will be back here to meet with all of you tomorrow night. Very well. All right. Swift speed, Ollie. Uh, swiftest to see these feet. Or <laughs> Yeah, okay, all right, I'll see you later. <laughs> so, uh, Ollie, Ollie is going to exit and change into a small form, you know, kind of easily mistaken for somebody pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all I right. was going to say. <laughs> Off I go. Oh, <laughs> uh, your voice fuck is going to be murdering you after this. <laughs> If you want to get to her, you'll have to go through me. I love this voice. <laughs> uh, so hey, no, I, I love the voice. The voice box is going to be murdering her. Just to confirm, it is the middle of the night, and you're heading out now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You answered that in the wrong voice. <laughs> well, I'm re I'm re I'm rethinking my scenario, but you know what's nice about being pregnant on the world. Willie, nobody's gonna mess with you because you're pregnant. 
They just go, hey, pretty lady with the baby. And you go, yes, I am. And they go, you'd make a tasty morsel. And you go, not today, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I think I'm going to go and see those nice people. And I don't know if I show up and it's bedtime and I have to snuggle in with that big, tall drink of water. Then that's, you know. It was it understands. He knows that you need to cuddle to survive in the deep, deep cold. And even though I have this big furry cloak, I mean, who knows what could happen? Anything could happen. I could lose it. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head out that way. You uh, are walking in the deserts uh, in the dark for you know, about 20 minutes. Um, please make a survival check. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> be careful. There's one of those <sighs> not rocks. You know what? It's better than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're wandering around and you're wondering whether or not you maybe took like a wrong turn there you should have taken a right instead of a left oh my goodness how did i get myself in this situation oh oh mommy brain you know oh my god she's such a method actor <laughs> <laughs> oh well maybe if i just um maybe if i just go um, Dune, Badger, guy who was a badger, Dune specifically, so let's need some help. Oh, there's, a, there's nothing, there's nothing to worry about over here. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you hear the sound of scuttling coming towards you. Oh, I'm fucking, I'm protecting this baby with my life. <laughs> I think you forgot to uh, click on your token first there. Oh, crap. All right. Congratulations, that one doesn't I count. Have any ideas. Really? Is this how it goes? Okay. Damn it. That was like the best initiative I've ever rolled. Oh, that's more like me. <laughs> uh, you turn right. around and you see a scorpion just next to those rocks. What do you do? I'm gonna whip out my dragon saber and go. You didn't look. You didn't see this coming, did you? I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna run up first. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of slow because I'm pregnant and waddly. Oh, got my sword out. I back you, beast. Okay. A twenty hits. Um for 14 damage. Damn it. No sneak attack. Is the first turn a um, trigger for that? No, it's not. No. Then, uh... I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. Can you link the description of the feat real quick? Uh, oh my gosh. Well, if I were a cool person who had that on my page... Yes. Um, <laughs> what what feat was it? I can probably bring so, up the page. Yeah, it's my sneak attack, right? Mm. Uh, yeah. So, oh, oh my lord, I just have it on like my uh, my word document, which I normally have open, but also I kind of sometimes just open it right when it's getting hairy. <laughs> it's kinda... All right, let's see. So, sneak attack. Yeah, not with your uh, subclass. Because I, f I no, think there no, might no, be no. a subclass that does that, but it's not yours. I think it's assassin. So I, yeah, yeah so I uh, I can get it when it's like dark, like when they can't see me very well. But, you know, that's okay. DM's discretion because I have uh, no dark vision. <laughs> and uh, this bitch has significant blind sight. Dope, 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 dope. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your turn? Yes. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, 
That yeah. is my turn. Um, and I'm going to uh, use my cunning action to disengage <laughs> and then move off. <laughs> Gonna maybe hide over here and try to be quiet with my sword ready. You can't hide as an steady. action if you've uh, already cunning action to disengage, but you can hope. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, you hear scuttling. Fucker. Oh, oh, be quiet. And scuttling. Oh, you babe. remember like two seconds ago when I said I had blind sight? <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Wait. Well, what the fuck? Um, do you not know what blind sight is? Oh, I assume that it doesn't need eyes to see. <laughs> I, assume... <laughs> <laughs> I... I mean, you're not wrong. But follow that logic through a bit. Oh, it doesn't have eyes? No, no, the other direction. If it, it has a lot eyes of eyes. See, then breaking line of sight would do what? Nothing? There you go. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, guys, I'm just, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm playing here. <laughs> this is the 16 hit. Uh, so it can. Uh, it c it can, it can do so. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, all of them can do so. Oh damn it! I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> Scorpions have no sympathy for pregnant people. Oh shit! Not the baby belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. So uh, how uh, how bad is it? Oh, so, you're grappled, just straight up grappled. You need to make a con Fuck. saving throw. Damn it. Oh, con uh, so, but I can use my reaction uh, when an attacker I can see hits me. Um, I can, can have them. the damage dealt. I can't see them? You can. Oh, I can. Okay. Uh, so, I can have the damage dealt. I don't think that helps me with being grappled, but at least whatever the damage is, I can cut that in half. You took a four, a three, and a three. Okay, so uh, I took a ten, so now I'm at five. Is it for a particular attack, or um, is it for an overall yeah. amount of damage? I think it's just an overall amount of damage. When an attacker I can see hits me, I use my reaction to have the damage dealt. Yeah, but uh, you only Yeah, that'd be only reaction. be on one attack, because... Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it would only be on the one attack. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, sorry. So then I take, uh, so instead of four, I take two, so eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you Ooh. just make the con save. Uh, Great. so you, okay. still, you still take some damage from the poison, but it's half damage. Oh, okay. Uh, so the poison. Oh, fuck. There we go. <laughs> 12 damage. Oh, Jesus. Freaking shit. <laughs> Jesus, freaking shit. Oh, why did I do this? <laughs> By the way, you could use um, your bonus reaction to dash. Just oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Uh, but I'm grappled, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm grappled. Uh, so it's a strength check, right, to get out of grapple? Uh-huh. Oh, fuck. DC 12. I oh, thought you could so use dexterity to get out of it. Shit. <laughs> oh, shit. That's true. That's a very good point, Toby. This <laughs> dex-based so character much. can use um, dexterity. Technically, it's acrobatics or athletics that you use. Oh, shit, yeah. Well, I know which one I um, excel in. <laughs> 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 yep. You're a whole oh. fight with fire. Buddy. <laughs> wow. Shall I bother you know, posting baby. that to showcase or are you already on it, demon? Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, know? you still have a speed of zero. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What, what the frick do I have that I can do? Oh, Christ, 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 Christ. Um, okay. Um, 
land of Delore knows no Christ. Only the thirsty. You people keep bringing up Christian things, and all I can think about is that damn game they're making. I don't want to know. Okay. Um... Christians are making another game. This time, Jesus can run at 30 miles per hour. <laughs> uh, with my grappledness, could I grab one of my balls? Yes. Aren't you playing a female this time? No, I'm. Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so I'm going to grab my. I think it's the breath of. Oh, it's the eye of the earth that gives me the shield of faith once per short rest. So I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on myself, uh, as, and I think that's okay because it's a bonus action. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so I'm just going to raise my AC up uh, by two, so that'll help, hopefully. Uh, maybe it'll also weird it out a little bit that I'm in a shimmering field, uh, God can only hope. Um, and then uh, if I were to use a Thunder Wave, would it fling us apart from one another? Yes. Oh, it would. Okay, then I am going to uh, just with my hand, I'm going to hit the breath of air to initiate a thunder wave. Uh, they're mm. asking me what level I cast at, and I don't really think I have an option beyond level one. I don't know. <laughs> my issue with that this turn is that uh, oh, is that already? It's an action. Then. An action, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, all right. Yeah. Well, Craig, well, I hope it doesn't beat uh, an AC of 16 on any of its other things. <laughs> what HP do you have? Uh, not much, not much, Bailey. Thank you for asking. <laughs> uh, well, now it has you in its claws, it's just going to sting. Fucking great. Oh, a 22. What a fucking asshole. Hey, all right. Um... So, oh, that sucks. That sucks. I might be dead. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so half damage because I can see it. Or w wait, so that's like, so that's piercing, but then I have to do the con save uh, to see if I get half on the poisoning, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. What the heck? Holy shit. <laughs> Christ. What is it with you and Nat ones today? Yeah, it's my day for those. Oh my god. Demon, I think I the post it. needs updating. Uh, I wasted <laughs> all my charm on Pierre. Well, I'm glad that's over. Roll oh. Bollocks. Are you alive? Oh, am I alive? Uh, is it so it hasn't rolled the poison damage, right? Yeah, it did. It rolled twenty-one. Oh, okay, okay. So I get so I get four on the piercing, and twenty-one on the poisoning. So I am. I've got one HP. <laughs> <laughs> that was very lucky. Oh, Lar. Mhm. Mm okay. All right. So um. Acrobatics, it's now or never, Ollie. <laughs> do you want to do that as your action again? I do. Okay. And you just like backflip, wriggle out yep. of those claws. You are Holy no longer fuck. grappled. Okay. All right. Um, fuck, which way should I dash? <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm gonna, gonna use my cunning action to dash. Um, I think I still have all my movement, so 60 feet. Uh, I believe that if you ever uh, that is. get a turn grappled, your movement speed is set to zero until the end of the turn. Oh, shit. Really? I am. Okay. Fuck. Ooh. It was uh, nice knowing you, Ollie. No, no. Cutting no. action dodge. So, like, no, here's... Let me, let me walk myself through the logic here. So you, whilst you're grappled, your speed becomes zero, and whilst you're grappled, you can't benefit from bonuses to speed. But when it ends, 
that no longer applies. So if you were then to take cunning action to dash, that would be double your normal movement speed because you're no longer grappled. Does anyone else follow that logic? That's the hope. I follow the logic of Ollie's not about to die alone in the desert. So you can move 30, spe- 30 feet away. I can only move 30 feet away? Yeah, because you would still have a zero of your overall movement speed, but you would be able to bonus action dash. Can I move 30 feet away off the fucking screen? <laughs> That's how I get away from this thing, right? Oh my god. Yes, you exit the encounter. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping. That's exactly what I used to do in the original Fallout. <laughs> It's like oh, there's right. literally like an exit map border, and if you just get into like a random encounter that you cannot deal with, you go to this like weird discoloration right on the edge of the otherwise desolate map, and suddenly ping yeah. you're away. <laughs> I reloaded that game so many times to keep dog meat alive. It was very good. Mm. Then the All right. one happened. How about dog meat the scorpion comes and finishes me off? I'm like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I don't have a bonus action anymore, eh? I mean, your turn. I guess oh, you're kind of lucky that I didn't take an attack of opportunity. <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> it was too bewildered at what the fuck it just saw. <laughs> a pregnant uh, woman doing a backflip. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, let's not forget, I am hella close for me. <laughs> And I am somehow still alive. Uh, because to so, this thing, you were hella tasty. I am hella tasty. <laughs> I'm glad that you see that about me, but I also must be getting on my way. <laughs> okay. This is about where I'm headed. <laughs> All right. um, and with its movement speed, it tries to chase you but cannot and very quickly gives up and returns to its rock fucking sayonara nice to fucking meet you You... never a fucking again (laughs) you run through the desert again yep fuck it (laughs) uh make a survival check please holy shit ollie fucking figure your shit out you're almost dead oh if it was another now one i would have died (laughs) <laughs> you find a um set of paw prints going in a westerly direction. Thank fuck. I don't even care if this is the right fucking wolf. I'm going that way. Follow this right, around so for yeah. a while, and you eventually wind up. Back oh, here. thank God! Thank God! You will be here. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, oh wait! Oh, they don't—they don't, they don't fucking know. No, they don't know me. Is how it's what's movie. Now we gotta go Oop, back to Ollie. Oh, that was oh the transition. Oh, not great! Not great! Holy shit! Oh, hi. Hi Did guys, sorry to drop in on you. Uh, I'm just gonna. Uh, okay, so I'm just I'm just passing out. If they want to heal me, that's their prerogative. <laughs> <laughs> um, the last things that you see before your eyes closed is uh, June looking down at you in quite a surprised and perplexed and not at all surprising manner. Oh, I'm so glad it's you, dude. Ugh. With that, lost words before passing out. <laughs> with that, uh, now everyone's asleep. Pomp. We're gonna fast forward to the morning. Everyone gains the benefits of a long rest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can try banishing that guy again. It worked so well the last time. One thing. Mm-hmm. Solus would have tested at some point during that if his zone was within 120 feet of him. <laughs> <laughs> if
if you get what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do get what you mean. Um, let me just move you back to the gels. I didn't actually consider that too hard. <laughs> so, um, that's if it's any be... consol, if it's any consolation. I don't think the spell can go through walls, so it will oh, need. Then to, like... he's definitely far too far away. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I, I was thinking about like hypotenuses. Hypotenuse? Yeah, because I. Th the long part of a triangle. <laughs> hypotenuse? That's mm -hmm. a good one. Hip hop hypotenuse. Hip -hop. <laughs> I'm the hip hop hypotenuse and I'm the rhyme nasus. <laughs> but I've only got one used a bit. <laughs> and if I want to get waste it on this hypothesis, does Steve tell you that perchance? <laughs> Do I use a spell I'm probably never going to have a use for ever again, even though it takes a fourth level slot? Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh... Oh, let me or not I... terrify you anymore with that. Oh, uh, what's coming up now? <laughs> Just getting rid of the turn order. You're not in any um, immediate danger. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, you're right. I should. I should. Okay, so Sonny just walks out of the jail. Come again? Sonny just walks out of the jail cell. <laughs> He can fit through a five by five or a five feet dimension thing. Pretty sure. I mean, be a bit of a squeeze, but I'm pretty sure I can go through. That's not gonna work. These. Um, Damn it! You are not tough. These uh, jail bars are made out of metal. No, no, no. I I thought the walls were made out of stone. Yeah. Uh, but if you were to cast it on it, you would see beyond nothing but more rock. No, no, other direction. No, that's all yeah, metal. Those, that's all bars. It's oh. metal by metal by metal by stone. I was under the impression that these were stone walls with metal bars in them. Uh -huh. Only uh, on the ends here. So yeah, I... Probably don't cast that then. That's my. I. I don't. I can't. I wouldn't Sorry be able to, to do that in the first place. Sorry to take get out of jail free card. I know you've probably passed go by now. <sighs> Can I at least get the money? <laughs> if you get out. Okay, then I'd have to do Plan B. It's not as Help! fancy, but <laughs> what? Charm. I was joking that your plan B was just going up to the door and shouting, HELP! <laughs> Actually, that, that, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, right. <laughs> we are not doing get help. <laughs> no, no, go. It's like, hello? Guards? There guard down here? So I've listen. made a new friend all day! Arazid, if not awake, unawakened uh, now. I crave social interaction! <laughs> <laughs> Is there a guard down here? Um, Preferably just... not the one who put us in here! And he's awake. <laughs> I think Sunny's request should be to have Arizid move to the cell across from him so they can chat. <laughs> I can chat now. Speaking of chatting, yeah, but... oh, Solus was trying to say something. Yeah, so I think Solus would have woken up at least a few minutes earlier. Um, because he really what, just wants to get the fuck out of here. So, what he's going to do is something really stupid. So I assume I can see to see like um, into the cell next to me, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. because because it's just like more metal bars. 
Yeah. Uh, like all of what is revealed to you, you can see. Yeah, and there's no one else there. No. Okay, cool. In that case, Wait, you're about to successfully break out. Damn, Sunny's plan is good. In that case, I'm going to make. No, well, going to use silent image <laughs> to do a couple things. First thing, I'm going to make it appear like I am not in the cell anymore. Second thing, there is now a big hole in the wall. <laughs> this is just an upgraded version of how you uh, got guards into your cell last time. <laughs> <laughs> and I am here for it. <laughs> so now there is a big illusion of a hole in the wall. <laughs> okay. uh, where are we putting this hole exactly? I'm going to do it very artfully, I promise. Um, It's like in the back wall, and it's like a tunnel that heads up and out. <laughs> yeah, that works. That works. That's <laughs> so all this is gone, as far as people from outside can see. In actuality, he's like on the bed, and the illusion itself covers like only the back, far back of the actual thing. Hey, God! Sonny is down a friend! Can nice. Sonny see the guard? If you can see it on the map, you can. Your character can see it. Um, the guard Sonny looks just... into Solus's cell, and then says, <laughs> "Nice try, but there's a corridor on the other side of that, and I just came from it." Sunny is going to make a friend. Well, Sunny certainly hopes he makes a friend. This spell isn't stopped by me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friend! Okay. Whiz. What? <laughs> Whiz. But said weirdly. Okay, I'm uh, pretty sure a three doesn't beat your DC, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let me just read over the spell so I know how to get into character here. I think we reworded some of it to make more sense. Maybe. Okay. It's charmed by you. Hello, friend. We had a misunderstanding with your boss, and he put us in here to cool off, but we are very cool now. Can we please now come out? It'd be very nice if you could do that. Oh, uh, of course. That sounds very lovely. Let me go get the key. Do you not want breakfast? Sunny is okay this time. So... Okay. Thank you for offering. Let me go get the key from my boss. This is going to end really badly, but I'm looking forward to it. From somewhere in uh, like this kind of direction, where he's just gone, uh, into the darkness beyond, you can hear a loud shout and a thump. <laughs> No. And you hear nothing else. Speaking of uh, people waking up, you awakened <sighs> in the barracks. Oh boy. Uh, he kind of, you know, gets up, uh, looks about. Then goes off to find the captain, because he currently doesn't know what to do. <laughs> right. 
I'm just going to really quickly upload uh, the map for the top and no actually I need to put more work into those I'll do you theatre of mine this week uh, so the the barracks area that you have been sleeping in is on the ground floor uh, kind of around the back of the stairs uh, you know where the captain's office is by now you've been, you've been taken there yeah. enough a um, couple times, you know. I mean, he's been there every single night since you guys got here. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, you climb up the stairs, you go over the gangplank to um, the opposite building and knock on the office door. Enter. Uh, you enters and salutes. Sir, reporting for duty. Ah, uh, Kanda. Sit down for me, will you? Yes, sir. Uh, you will move in a very um, militaristic movement, like uh, arms kind of go, or, you know, it's very clearly that he's, yeah. Yeah. Um, as he kind of like sits down, uh, perfect posture, just straight back, everything. Tell me, what would you do with your former friends? Well, first things first, the, the one that hasn't been captured yet is the only non-magic caster among them. Uh, be cautious of that. Other than that, um, I do believe if... From what I've heard from before, um, they escaped from Jiras. I would probably um, contact there and see what they want to be done. I wouldn't want to. Uh, I wouldn't want a higher up or anything um, getting antsy or disliking how you handled things uh, after they find out um, if there is any anything that uh, anybody up there would want. Hmm. Not a bad idea overall. In order to report them to Jurass, I do need to ask, were any of them using aliases that you knew of? Not that I know of. As far as I know, all of them are who they say. Roll a deception, please. Very well. What do you think the ideal punishment would be for attacking the lawman in town? The one that attacked you should be hung, said as an example, um, for anybody else. The other two made to watch. Uh, the one that is a part of them that I'm assuming is probably moving to try and break them out. Um, should should she also be captured? Um, I would say the rest of them is just a good long jail stint if uh, Jaros does not want anything else with them. Um, for they really didn't openly attack. They only attacked the, gar the dogs or aided. I say the one that openly defied is good enough. Who exactly is this friend you were talking of? She? I thought you were aware of the, uh, the four of them. Four of them? Yes, I thought you were aware of the, uh, of the one that was not there. I am aware that there is an accomplice who looked to be a man and called himself Shang. Did you know for sure that he that she considered themselves a he? Roll a persuasion check. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you said persuasion? Yeah. 
Because you're not wrong. <laughs> 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 I don't know, the kid that was like, that did was you know good. that like, that you would do anything? You really put your foot in it now. That was good though. Like, I forgot that it wasn't Ollie Ollie. Uh. <laughs> and that is where the source of roleplay comes from. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Thank you for your information. You have been very enlightening. No. Um, you don't. Uh, what am I to do now, sir? Follow me. Very well. <laughs> um, gets up and yeah, it's ready to follow. <laughs> nice knowing you. <laughs> Is this before or after a guard walked in and got his ass handed to him? <laughs> yeah, when did that happen in the timeline? <laughs> I mean, was the thump we heard the guard walking in and you going, Ah, an ally! Well, maybe we're about to find out, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, wait. <laughs> Your buddy is Good actually question, super strong. But are you Canadian? Eh? Well, me. Oh. Yes. <laughs> we'll take him. <laughs> I do, Are you Canadian, I, eh? I do love a lot of the things that they love, like the outdoors, not Pretty being gay freezing. Pretty random points of the sentences. Maple syrup. Oh, yeah. Good coffee. I, do... I know somebody around here was... Uh, cheese. I can't remember who. Oh, yeah. Yeah, cheese. <laughs> Look, as long as you hate the French as much as as long as you hate the French as much as I do, I couldn't care anything less. <laughs> I, I don't I'm hate the French. So I just think we should go to war with them. Because <laughs> I'm British. It's kind of a prerequisite being <laughs> being um raised British that you're raised with a lot of xenophobia and like an encouragement that that's like okay, so <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> The British feel about the French like you. the Scottish feel about the British. <laughs> so, uh, Kanda is brought downstairs. Uh, he is led out of the barracks, brought down into this little hut, and then taken into the jail cell. I would like you to accompany me again for our interrogations. Very well. He uh, opens the door with a set of keys. Yeah, you will close it behind them, making sure it's locked again. Uh, once you guys are inside, you will see a collection of uh, guards that are all there. Uh, one of them rises to um, uh, to lock the door behind the pair of you. Uh, as you pass, Azorn notices a man slumped into the corner. He walks over and kicks him. What are you doing? He turns to address the man behind the desk. How would you let this impertinence fly under your nose, Sergeant? The Sergeant stands up. S Sorry, sir, uh, one of the prisoners... Uh, they cast they cast a spell of some form and he came out or oh, try to get 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 them free. Huh. Hmm. Decent thinking then. Well done containing it. Give the man a demerit once he awakens. No. Heath, with me. Yes, sir. And the three of you continue heading down this corridor. You get to the end here. Uh, the guard approaches it, unlocks it for you. And you hear it lock behind you as you walk through. 
or he walks through is also technically correct. <laughs> 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 We're going to do something a little different this time. We're going to take them in one by one into the end. Wait, this end? Yeah. Oh, the guard that was... These are all just bars. Is there any point in taking them into the end? Because everyone can still see what's in the end. The guard next to Isorn <laughs> unlocks the door, opens it, walks inside, and awaits uh, you to follow. Oh. This is fucking tense. <laughs> I got a terrible idea of something fun, but I think it'll backfire horribly. The door is locked behind you. Azorn turns towards you, holds out a hand, and says, You will be in here with the rest. Please make a wisdom saving throw. Hey, Ooh, at least you're I'm... good at those. Uh, not proficient, but good at them. Mm. Yeah! Um... <laughs> Yee. <laughs> so how does this happen? So what does the does like the spell go back on him like a mirror? Like a mirror? It's like uh, you are banished. Nope. You are under my control. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you are effective guards. Nope. <laughs> so as oh, soon as this happens, um, you just pulls his sword in. And attempts to slash at him uh, as he uh, be begins to speak. Uh, where, where's my thing? Uh, oh, we, we have the initiative, don't we? Or do I not just get a counterattack? Yeah, you can get a reaction and then we'll go into initiative. Oops, I forgot to do the thing. Come on, guys, get good. Oh, beautiful. I mean, everyone's still higher than me, but beautiful. Ooh. Well, I so technically one time have I get it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, technically you have, have a 10 roll. points. Well, I'm uh, very much planning to do a thing, as stupid as it might be. So, you know. Also, so, because somebody uh, insisted on putting them on the map. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you oh. begin to... To speak Very as he quickly, pulls his sword. Uh, I have to do that. No, but if I you want to join the combat. person. <clears throat> well, everything has nothing to lose. I just need my computer to you know, do the thing that I'm supposed to do. Okay. Uh, describe what you is doing. Uh, as he's kind of like pulling his blade, he just speaks. The sun's light will cleanse. Those who stray from that light will face its burning wrath. As mm. he pulls the sword from the uh, from the sheath, it, a torrent of flame is coming out of it as he attempts to to flaming longsword. Sixteen what? hit. A sixteen does not hit. Oh. Hey, this is a great entrance. Back over on Skull Rock. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many notes. <laughs> you, E sword, flame sword. All right, let's do it. <laughs> uh, Ollie, uh, oh. you awaken. Whoa! Holy shit! Get the fuck out of me! Ah! <laughs> oh god! Oh. Wait, are you oh. still um, Ella, Frostworthy? No. No. She oh, well, you just... I swapped back to not be confusing. It was a lot of effort. 
<sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, where the fuck am I? <sighs> oh, wait, God, I remember now. Uh, Dune. Dune, you're, you're here. And oh my God, it's you. Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, you're looking great as ever. And oh, there's the cute butt guy. Not so cute without the butt. Oh, and... Okay, well, um, it's morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, I hope you all slept well. Um, yeah, we slept decently, I suppose. Yeah, sorry to just drop in on you like that and then, you know, pass out. But thank you very much for not letting anything eat me last night. No, More. That's fine. We uh, went hunting last night, actually. Are you hungry? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I could eat. She just over to the fire pit where there's, like, uh, a couple of f fillets of meat roasting on the fire. Ah. Oh. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I'm going to take off one that looks about done. And then I'm going to place it on this rock next to me. I'm going to go, you guys, you will not believe this. And I'm going to take off my shoe. I'm going to rub it on the side of my cloak to get some of the sand off. And then I'm going to put it on the meat. And then I'm going to step on it and hop a few times. Then I'm going to lift up my shoe. If I've got all their attention, I'm going to look around and oh, texture. Uh, there's also a bit of seasoning there now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and that's just, you know, because you, you just you can't get all the sand out when it's a pattern like this. But, oh, man, does it ever change the mouthfeel. Oh, uh, you, you guys, you guys want one? You're being looked at like um, a bunch of aliens would uh, look at a monkey eating. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. Well, you know, it's not for everybody. I'm fascinated by what you're doing, but at the same time, completely horrified. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to put my sandal back on my foot and sit down and grab my first bite of mouthfeel. Oh! Get a grain it's of like, sand in your teeth. Ah, you know what? It's like flossing. <laughs> Uh, it's good for it's good for them. Is that uh, your so, uh, dental care? Oh yeah, yeah. See, like check out my teeth. I'm gonna show them my teeth. Oh, maybe you get some sand up in there. You know, it kind of looks like I don't know, like you got some definition. I think it's not really there, but it's nice. very good. I don't know, like, you guys, if you, like, if you grab a handful of sand and you just scrub it, scrub it, scrub it on your teeth, it's actually, like, it just, it takes off all the yuck. So, like, your teeth, they look kind of better. I mean, like, sure, your mouth feels weird, but isn't there always a little bit of sand in our mouths, all right? <laughs> you can hear the sound of, like, horrified grimacing behind you. <laughs> <laughs> look. Enough with the games, little one. Why have oh. you come here alone? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you guys remember uh, my friends? Yes, we remember them more than we remember you. Uh, <laughs> you yeah. Know, um, oh, your that friend, sounds my so master. Fun. Yes, yes. My friend, your master. Um, I didn't know if that relationship was still like super stable, but like, I'm glad, I'm glad it is. Um, anyways, uh, they're in trouble. They're in prison in Blue Rock Lake. And, uh, well, the guy who imprisoned them, he's, he's a huge asshole and he, he's the one who killed River. And, uh, Basically, the town is sick of him, you know? They they don't have a problem with you guys. It's that asshole. Uh so I figured, you know what? Why don't why don't I see if you guys want to help? There's a resistance in the town and they want to get rid of this asshole. So, I was thinking I'd come here 
beg you guys to come back with me to Blue Rock Lake, meet up with the resistance and bust my friends out of jail before something bad happens to them. And then, you know, if we get rid of this guy, this Sergeant Eastorn, Corporal Eastorn, whoever the fuck he is nowadays, either way, his name is Eastorn, he's got long brown hair and he's a dinky asshole. So, basically, if we get rid of him and we get rid of his cronies, then Blue Rock Lake, I don't know, we can take care of ourselves or themselves, right? And you guys can be a part of the community. I just figured, you know what? It seems like a win-win scenario. So what do you guys say? You are still asking us to align ourselves with the same type of people who tried to kill us. and who Not the same type of people kill. who tried to kill you. Did kill, yeah. No, I'm asking you to align yourselves against the type of people who tried to kill you and did kill River. Those assholes need to be driven out of town. And I feel like you guys are the cattle dogs to do it. How... But here's the thing, how would we know? How would you know who's, uh, who's the bad guy? How would we know that we could trust them? I don't even know that I could trust you, little one. Just because you travel with someone that one of my packmates knew. Mm -hmm. I am aware of magics in this world and I want nothing to do with them. Well, I mean, I guess magic, as much as we try to hide it around here, it's everywhere, right? My whole body is magic, and I'm going to switch over into Shang. I'm like, I can be tall. I'm going to go back into Hello Trustworthy. I can be small, but a little bit poignant. Uh, and then I'm going to go back into Ollie. Like, Suddenly, White it's just Fang everywhere. Like, like, stands up, and as he's standing, his form thickens and darkens and uh, sprouts. Uh handfuls of fur and he screams at you you dare presume me on magic of bodies i don't presume you on magic i'm just saying magic is all over anyways are you are you cool <laughs> seem like you're June uh, turns to him. Look, even if we can't trust her, we can absolutely trust Solus. I would give my life for him. You should know what that means, white one. Calm yourself and listen to her words. White Fang breathes out in and out, sits back down, his form shifts back to one of uh, more humanoid again. Very well. Tell me I'm gonna... the top, and then we shall go. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dune. So, uh, my friends, uh, basically, this Corporal Isorn, e he's the one who orchestrated uh, River's death. Uh, the townsfolk weren't aware that she was sentient. They thought that she was a wolf that was hurting people, uh, didn't know that she could talk, anything like that. It was Esorn and his goons that ignored her cries and killed her anyways. And uh, yeah, I really think that they need to fucking pay for that. So there's that, you know, starting off, first thing, why he's an asshole. Second reason that he's an asshole, he killed my whole family. I don't know who how you know i river was your pack mate right i'm sure it feels a lot the same oh <laughs> nice. i oh gosh i feel like there's oh i was probably just from blue rock lake but anyways um and so he yeah he killed he killed my he killed my mom my dad and my little brother um so uh when i say that i want this guy dead i'm there you know you can trust me on that um but uh yeah, so uh, so we had a bit of a plan, you know, coming into Blue Rock Lake that uh, found out that Eastern was here. I've pledged to kill him ever since that day he killed my family. Um, 
and uh, I guess uh, I guess things got a little bit out of hand uh, last night at the tavern. Uh, it's called Enter the Flagon. Uh, there's twins that work there. One's cool, the other don't know. Um, but anyways, they've got a f- pit for fighting. And uh, Esorn, he brought in a uh, a naga, you know, a, a snake lady. Uh, and I guess he was had I don't know people fighting to kill her. And then Solus, being Solus, jumped in and was like, oh, no, you know, and then he all the other that. friends, they jumped. Huh? He does do that. Yeah, yeah, dude will tell you. That's just his character. <laughs> it's just all the time. Like, oh, you know, somebody's in trouble. Boom, gonna save them. It was fucking so noble. Uh, anyways, but now he's in trouble. Yeah, um, so anyways, uh, I guess the whole rescue operation didn't go so well and now they're in prison uh but you know this uh this esorn guy and his goonie guards they've been real fucking assholes in this town for some time now and a resistance has developed sort of a subgroup of people who live in blue rock lake you know they're the people who actually do things that are productive you know like work and farm and that they have absolutely no beef with you guys and uh so those guys, they're all meeting up tonight uh, to discuss a way to get my friends out of jail, get them back to safety. And basically, I'm hoping that you guys will come back to Blue Rock Lake with me tonight to meet with them. Very well. Now, fill me in on the town. Thanks, White Fang. Okay. Uh, we're well, gonna fade back to <laughs> okay. the jail with that. Yes. Okay. Before um, something bad happens. Um was bad yes. Was that just a reaction that I got or was it a full extra turn that I got? Because I It was a reaction. <laughs> Alright. Uh just before we initiate the combat, I just wanna double check that or is it sitting out because there's no turn order for I it? would love to roll initiative, but I'm staring at white. You want me to do it? While uh, you load up? Please, I'm going to refer- You're also very robotic, Dewey. Well, 13 ain't for a while. Is it better if I was robotic? Uh, not really. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you're in a 13, so it can be, you know, give yourself a little second there. Um, so, yes, unfortunately, you is unable to hit, and with his action... Is on casts Dimension Door. That prick. Uh... <laughs> And with that, he just laughs. You can hear him laugh as you, as he disappears. And back to the office. I can't do anything about that. Nobody has counterspell. Rest in peace. Um, no, I think that's a wizardy spell, and our wizard is someone we never want to see again. <laughs> yeah. Especially so much of her. <laughs> well, it seems oh, to have disappeared. But it's um, Simon for so just. Jeez, that character lives on in the brain. Yeah. Like, credit. Credit to the where it's due. Yeah. Um, for, so, for all the wrong reasons. With the immediate threat uh, disappearing. Uh, you guys can, you know, 
continue to role play if you want. You can attempt to turn based escape if you prefer, but I feel like it would feel uh, better. The scourge still here? They are. Uh, you instantly points a sword towards him as he starts to speak. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure right. we're in combat right now on the basis that somebody just tried to. Yeah. Uh, well, you yeah, this guy's still team. here, so if we're going to go in turn order, Sonny would have first reaction before you tries to absolutely kill him. Mm. Sonny knows what he's going to do. This back wall that's over here, just both directions. It doesn't require line of sight for all of the where I have to hit. It just requires me to know where the location is. Okay, so you're blowing a hole in this one. Oh, good grief, no, I'm setting it on fire. <laughs> can you yeah, just, draw just out this that? wall and then as far as I can get in both directions? A wall of fire on a solid surface within range. So you're setting fire to the wall itself. You're casting the wall of fire on the wall. Effectively. Basically, it just means that this 10 foot space that's here just gets turned into a anyone walks into that hallway wishes they hadn't. Anyone uh, standing that hallway wishes they weren't. Where was it specifically, sorry? <coughs> Basically just sort of start at this wall here and then go in both directions until we hit the uh, foot limit. And one foot thick. So it's technically in front of the wall, and the wall is not taking damage because the fire's going the other direction. I get you. Me and the wall are friends. Is it against this wall, like one foot thick, so like that? Whoops. Uh, yeah. Would it stop at this wall or shoot straight through? Would it mm. stop here or just carry on? I have no idea how that works. But if you if you're casting it on like this wall in particular, if it's up to it's six... more like well, it's not really on the wall. It's the spot right in front okay. of it. If you get what I mean? Yeah. Then I suppose it would probably continue on. I know the other wall will probably stop it because, you know, solid rock. Yep. Fair enough. Yeah. That. And it burns, yeah, it's the action. burns, burns. The wall of fire. The wall of fire. Anything else? No, I, I think I'm okay there. We only have to deal with one guard. Redeem yourself, lowly warlock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me see. Got options. Well, those are going to be famous last words for my prep, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... this is in before I just get a psychic lance. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Repeatedly. <laughs> tempting, tempting. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you were just going to sit in jail and psychic lance the uh, bad guy, weren't you? Oh yeah. Until we realised it didn't go through walls. I don't think it's ah. anyway. Yeah. But it's fine. I'm going to see how sturdy do the locks look. The locks. Um you'd need to examine them fairly well to know for sure, but they look uh higher than your average lock. Alright, I don't give a shit, then in that case I'm just gonna shoot it and see what happens. <laughs> We got the three fire damage of both. Okay, uh, so twenty four damage. Um, the lock gets a couple of blasts right into it, and uh, there is definitely like uh, a good crater where the force damage is impacted with this lock. Uh, the door sits a little bit more uneasily on its hinge. Would I be allowed to kick it open? Or would that be an next uh, turn thing? That's technically an action to you. Okay, that's fine. In that case, I'm just going to walk up and just prepare to kick it open. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Why would sign of lance not work against him? It just, they need to be in range. 
I'm just confused. Maybe. Don't We've mind. gone a different route now. I think we're a little past um, just sit here and cheese the same spell. Fair enough. Sorry, just... That's cool. Brains often one. I'll go back to bad comedy now. Uh, is Arizid able to load up his character sheet? Oh, it's getting there. It's, it's getting there. Okay. It's halfway open. It's like stuck in like a little like opaque frame where it's like about oh. to load up and have it yet. Does he sound like somebody else turned up his speed settings and now he's going I at think, like 1.5 speed? I think what's happened is it's lagging, but then catching up in like a set amount of time. <laughs> So it's speed sounds sped up. That makes more sense than the other option. Why are you doing that? I'm getting pretty sleepy though, I might have to end it a bit early. It's fine. Not like it's... right now, but yeah. This is why I went to sleep before the day. <laughs> yeah, like if I nap during the day, I feel like so nauseous afterwards. I just can't. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just go to sleep with the mint in my mouth to get rid of nausea. <laughs> never I've tried never that. Never choked yet. Yeah. Well, they're not very big. I don't think there's literally anything I can do. Well, there's, maybe there's something I can do. Let me see. Um... Is it cry? <laughs> <laughs> I could be able to cry, but let me see. Let me see a ring. Do we have any of the nasty area effect spells? Uh... It should hopefully go, uh, like, be said uh, clearly now that your physical weapons have been taken away uh, yeah. and were, like, put over here. Sunny had physical weapons? I would like to make a square. How do I make a square? Uh, go down onto the third tab and there should be a uh, draw shape. Yeah. Can you all see this square? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, so square. with that square, I would like to cast Entangle. Ooh, Ooh Entangle. Love Entangle. I accidentally drew another square. <laughs> if you go back to the normal... Yeah, there you go. Oh, there's another square up there as well. <laughs> You get a square, and you get a square. <laughs> Everybody's a square. I've been being called a square since, like, before I knew it was an insult. <laughs> Is that an insult in England? <laughs> it, it's also it's like an old school, like, insult. Uh, it just means, it, you know, like, be there or be square. Yeah, 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 I've heard it. I've heard it. Yeah, means go outside sense. or your body will grow as like, a square. <laughs> I think it's the American version of calling someone a prat. I don't know. Because, like, you hear that in, like, like, the 50s. Like, oh, you're so square. Like, okay. Last time I remember seeing someone being called a square was a Flintstones cartoon. So, <laughs> yeah, that checks out. Yeah. Uh, he, the guard is entangled. They cannot flee. <laughs> you. Um, can I move to the square and make a melee attack through like the bars? <laughs> stab, stab. <laughs> uh, yeah, theoretically, you could get right up close to the bars and and stab through. Uh, because of the limited range, uh, I would say that um. 
that the guard technically has like light cover because like you're even your though that he's movement. restrained oh good point he is restrained yeah you're right make make a cheeky little roll Mr. um has is restrained weapons. automatic hit or is that um, no that's prone no prone Strain is advantage is Speed becomes zero. Attack rolls against them have advantage. And they have ah. disadvantage on deck saves. Alright. Uh, you want to stab the guy. All right, roll. Guessing a 20 hits. Heck yeah. 13 stabbing damage. <laughs> it's not really slashing, more of a stab. How do you murder him? Uh, you you is just very angry as he walks up to like behind this bar and just like thrusts his sword out. Uh, everybody else just sees like a sword pierce through this guy's chest. It just kind of like lets out a groan um, and collapses. You then begins to try and reach out to pull the body close to him so he can get the keys. I mean, you've already got him on a skewer. Just walk it back. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He's, he's also like, restrained. Just, like... Oh yeah. Uh, you has like this guy on his Everything. sword and he just kind of like calls out all right end the spell now mm -hmm. i can get the keys okay i just realized that somebody that there's a person up in that top left corner that means for at least one or two turns he's been um cooking i should oh probably i'm get sure he moved damaged. out of the way after like the first turn or two <laughs> Okay, so should I just roll it's down melt. to you it's mine. It's Yeah. <laughs> he's going to need to get at least two squares away from that thing, because otherwise oh, really? he's going to take two lots of... Uh, oh, I, I'm, I'm just going to put this here as a... That That's when he figured out it was hot. Just so you know, I killed that guy. <laughs> So that's half damage. Pretty sure. Okay. Uh, the fate of that guy is currently left unknown. Um, back to the meat kebab. Yeah, uh, so as it ends the spell, you pulls this guy on his yeah, sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what are you? What you... are you thinking about to break your concentration, Arizid? The fact that I have. <laughs> A pregnant wife I gotta get back to. <laughs> that is what I was you. gonna say if you didn't say it. <laughs> you grabs the keys that okay. this guy has for the cell. Yeah. Uh, uh, he walks over and door. unlocks his cell door. He then walks up to Sonny's and unlocks it. Mm -hmm. um, at some point, Solus would kick his open <laughs> if yeah. he can. Uh, yeah, you can. Can you roll me uh well, a technically unarmed attack. Okay, so that would be... Because technically every kick is you an unarmed friend! attack. You is Sunny does not need to burn you! This is always the plan. Shit. I was to impersonate a guard, it wasn't the plan to try and jump in and... do whatever that was, and get yourselves in jail. Sunny has the plan. me in trouble. The plan was that I was going to get the captain drunk because we know he likes his drink. Then we were going to stab him to death. Uh, um, you I walk just... up to the cell and you see Solus cradling his foot and hopping around. <laughs> uh, he's going to walk up and seeing that the door is like pretty much broken, he's just going to grab it and try and pull it off its hinges. Oops, that's <laughs> that's uh, still advantage. Yeah, a ten... Um... <laughs> <laughs> a 10 is technically enough to grab to attack a door with because um, I mean they're not very dexterous are they doors mm. uh, generally the damage. No. you could you please yeah, assuming other guards don't know that you are no longer with them could you please yell out about a prison break so they come running no particular reason why. Oh, also, don't go into hallway. It's very hot. Hmm. The door has been uh, slightly more mangled. You's going to try and pull this thing off its hinges again. Mm -hmm. 
ripping through the metal are finally the lock uh, that Solas pummeled um, <laughs> gives up on life completely and Solas's cell is open. Uh, he just kind of like throws the door to the side as he continues in his rage uh, and unlocks um, Erezid's cell before like standing over here. <clears throat> he clears his uh, throat as he yells. There's been a prison break. Come quickly. The prisoners have escaped. And then he waits. Uh, roll a deception check for that, please. <laughs> yeah. uh, like, his pure Ooh. rage, just as he yells this, makes it sound like it actually is happening. You hear a, a voice calling from down the corridor. Um, hello? Uh, yes? Well, we were told that Come you were right. a prisoner. Oh, for the love Um, we're Rebecca's views. And, and, and we're quite hot. <laughs> yes, I, um, I am a prisoner. However, the others are escaping. I am comfortably sitting in my cell. Well, you got a pretty loud <laughs> voice. <laughs> it, it's pretty echoey in here. <laughs> Pro protocol is that if prisoners escape, then opening the door is exactly what we should not do. After uh, apparently that was uh, not tried somewhere in in the mother city, and and some prisoners got out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the love of the sun! What Can we just drop the spell and kill them all? We heard that. <laughs> um, I think this is the point where Solus would just turn the corner, see the okay. door. Um, yeah, don't, um, don't, the, don't the, stick the more second. than your head in that. Why don't you just end the spell, buddy? Uh, yeah, yeah. If, if he's gonna Thing find, is, go can you there? choose who's affected by it? No, I can really? choose which side is affected by it. And Stop. one guess which side isn't getting cooked right now. Yeah, well, low fire resistance doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Look, if you just wait like five seconds, he can just stop thinking of burning things. It's easy. You normally do. That's like his normal frame of mind. It's very easy for him. So I'd yeah, like to think that the wall of fire turns off before um, Solus decides to um, re get rid of his eyebrows. Okay. Oh, thanks! It's been quite hot in here. He just leans. And now there's only one choice. So Solus, like, as he approaches, sort of leans up against the wall, looks through the gate at the guy. Uh, sorry, by the way, um... This is going to hurt, and I'm going to, just as a sort of a test run, I'm going to fire off a couple Eldritch Blasts at this guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a, just another barred door, as in a door with bars on it. Uh, no, I'm shooting the guy, not the door. Yeah, yeah no, that's what I mean, yeah. so like you have uh, yeah. visibility, and those both hit. Uh, describe... How this man won't be going home to his family when his posting here is over. <laughs> so, um, as a little flame appears at the tip of Solus's finger, the smoke that trails off sort of forms into these two little balls, and they fire out, streaming it, and impact this guy right in the chest, flinging him against the wall, causing his arm to sort of dent in and crush his own chest. <laughs> This right. is one of those days Sonny really should have prepared um, uh, Raise the Dead, but he didn't, so... Um, um, Sucks to be him. <laughs> is, um, is that door being opened? Because if so, Sonny yeah, has you, you an was, idea. He was going to open the door, unlock it. 
You do not have a key okay. that fits this lock. Oh, for the love of all the... Okay, in that case, could Solace and Sunny swap places, please? Hold up, wait, I got this. Um, Solace is going to snap his fingers as a hand made of pure black smoke appears. I'm going to cast Mage Hand. <laughs> Fly it over to the guy over here and see if we can find any keys. <laughs> <clears throat> um, can you just paste the mage hand there for me for a sec? I can. There you go. Thank you. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, you root through the pockets, and in one of them, you find a a small key. Cool. Um, I. Have the hand throw them back to me. Through the bars, preferably. Yeah. Uh, um, make a deck save, please. Sure. To catch. You could... Did you have to throw it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the keys land on the floor in front of you. They don't even, like, fumble against your knuckles. You just completely go <laughs> in the wrong direction. Solus just leans up against the wall. He's... <laughs> 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 there are there is now a single key uh lying in front of uh you guys. Okay, you, Sunny's you just walks going up to and reaches and Should I No, I've only got two of those left. When did I use one? Wait, why have I only got two of those left? When did I use one? Oh, fast friends. Hmm. Uh, you uh, should I assume there's more than two guards in that final room? You kind of look towards the group. Um, as far as I know, there's uh, there's two people up ahead. Um, could be more at this point. I don't know what the master said. Uh, your okay, gear is also in, in there. Your gear is also in there. Don't do anything drastic. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, in that case, can I just cast Flaming Sphere? That, that's a, it's like fireball, but more annoying, especially in the limited room. Uh, yeah, sure. So just about 60 odd feet ahead of us. <laughs> nice guess. <laughs> yeah, just, you know. I'm just gonna shove that forwards until combat kicks off, really. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, and just before These guys we... are about to see a sunrise just, just from around the corner. Just before some lovely uh, combat kicks off, we're gonna check back in with our little solo Ollie. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that to Dune. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> for a little while, uh, you have been um, <laughs> telling... Uh, White Fang and his pack about uh, <laughs> all of the events that you have witnessed of Izorns and in the town of Blue Rock itself and eventually uh, he tells the others to get ready to travel and asks that you show him the way Awesome uh, Well, you know, you guys might want to lead the way to town Honestly, I almost died on the way here <laughs> well you guys saw i was I was almost dead uh so yeah um we'll we'll just head back to town uh but maybe we should wait a little bit uh i don't know if you guys need to get ready um are there any are there any more of you guys there is uh one or two more of us <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't want you to put anybody in danger who's who doesn't want to go, right? But uh but basically I think we should go uh you know, I think we should head out close to sunset so that we arrive around dusk, less chances of being seen. I thought that perhaps you would want to rush to save your friends. You want to wait until tonight. I absolutely want to rush to save my friends, but I don't want to uh well, I don't want to put you guys in an uncomfortable position before we meet with the resistance. Mm. You would not still think that being closer to town would be more sensible, 
just in case. All right. You know what, Wei Pang? You seem like you've got really strong leadership abilities, and I'll be honest here, I don't. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's Holly do it. Let's do it your way on this. <laughs> Let's do it. The, let's do it this way. All right, we're we'll head out, head over to town. I don't know if there's a way that you can leave a communique, little message. I'm gonna be offensive if I continue. Um, for your for your pals to know which way we're headed, and when. How many of us do you want? Duna, Duna and I will volunteer, of course. Hmm. Of course. Happy to have you. Um, I'm gonna side eye look, look at the badger guy. Hmm? Hmm? Yes! I win one. Yeah! I honestly don't think we could do it without you, so I'm glad to have you on board. <laughs> oh my gosh, even just for morale, you know? <laughs> Aaron. Alright. Alright, thanks, Aaron. I'm gonna, gonna like clap his paws in my hands oh yeah glad to have you on the team buddy all right and uh what about you two superstars they will stay here and watch the den all right all right well you have a very important job you two all right well guys oh well yes i like you too i i wasn't sure well what do you say should we head on out very well and right. he stands, Erin and June stand along with him, and you all proceed north northeast. Yeah, I can make myself slightly taller too. <laughs> Alright. You nudge it down until it's about here, and that is where combat begins. Okay. Time to play pinball. <laughs> ping, 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 ping. Guess who was able to roll their own initiative? Oh uh, hell yeah, brother. I, I'd give you a clap, but I don't know if it would carry through the microphone properly. It's so frustrating. I keep clapping and it never gets picked up, even when I swear I do it like right next to the mic. I, I think it only activates during the clap, but because the clap stops immediately afterwards, it turns off and it's like it gets like two third it gets like a third of the hmm. clap. Speaking of, guess who's first in initiative? A guard? Arizid. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> Tee hee. <laughs> <laughs> They're really far away. You're yeah. a ranger. Have you got without any spell slots left by any chance? Oh, without a bow? Ugh. And rangers Wasn't it don't just have in that room? Because it's whack. I think they can now get mm. them at second level if they want them, or that might just be paladins. That's a... it's either that or it's a fighting style. Hmm. It uh, It is a fighting style, but I forget who doesn't doesn't get it. Do you have any um normal spell slots left and enough range? That's what I'm trying to do, the range. I want to do another little... little uh, Entangled. That's not the right word a little entanglement yes you want to entrap the guards or bribe our way out of here or blackmail now i really wish yeah, I, knew I, have range, I have enough range i have enough range let me let me make a swing terms of entanglement <laughs> <laughs> oh maybe that should be the title of the video yeah. mm -hmm. that's a good one <laughs> um what is the range on entangle 90 feet. Damn, entangle. Oosh, oosh, oosh. I want to say that's dex. Let me just scroll up real quick. I think it's strength. It is strength. Strength. Cheers. Yep. Big boy here is tangled. Anything else, Harrison? Is the other one entangled? No. 
or is he just unconscious? Um, you don't know. He attempts I'm surprised. to break free. He is able to break free. And he moves up next to the door um, with a bonus action. Unlocks the door. Sunny. Everyone's marching up forwards. Now how... F I probably should have checked this in advance. Oh, it's 30 feet. Uh, let's see. Well, he's going out there, so just, you know, roll up to the door. The, the big orb. Yeah. No, I was just double checking, um, because I know that within five feet, um... People I can set stuff on fire. That's only if it ends its turn there. Anything else? Um. Well, first things for. Nope. Nope. There it is. Nope. Uh, wait. That's, no. Uh, that's only action. if the guard ends its turn there. Oh, I thought if it runs into something. Oh, uh, you, uh, yeah, you, oh, yeah, you have the range to batter ram if, if you want. Well, yeah, that was the idea. I was trying to uh. roll it up to him. Nine fire damage. Oof. Uh, oh, and that is all the snack. bonus action. Yes. So now we need to check it. Why did I not check these in advance? 60 feet. Is he in 60 feet? Nope. God damn it. Yep, yep, yep. I get. Oh, actually. Ah, screw it. Dashing. Alright. You moved a little bit to get in front of Arizid, did you not? You don't have your full 30. Oh, I see. That was just dashing. Dash. Uh, you hear a gentle snoring coming from just around the corner as you approach. Is that your turn? Yeah, that, that is. Yeah. You. you. Move on to somebody who knows what they're doing. <laughs> Bailey. Oh, whoops, sorry. My mic was muted. Um, you take a deep breath as he kind of like leans, knee, kneels down a little bit. Um, I'm going to take you Step of the Wind um, to dash as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. um, so that gets me movement to... here. Oh, blimey, yeah, you um, is that kind of range. Yeah, is this door open? Yeah, uh, so he was able to unlock it and walk through, but he didn't have enough right. combat to clear. I'm then Shut going to again. use my action to dash to get <laughs> another 40 feet um, to kind of get in here and then get around him um, to kind of block the way up. Um, and that's everything that I used on movement to stop this guy from getting away, so that's my turn. Alrighty. Silas. Alright, um, action after realizing uh, people actually running forward at this point. I'm just going to action dash down the hallway. Um, I'm actually going to end up here. But uh, from here, I can. Actually, I don't think it really matters either way. Um... Yeah, I mean, one guy is a bit more obscured, but is also uh, unconscious. 
Yeah, so I think I'm going to bonus action Spirit Shroud, and then that's it. Alright, back to you, Arizid. Kill. Be my guest. My movement would be... Here with dashing. Mm -hmm. Which would be your action. Yeah. So I'm just here now. Fair. They were really far away. You've only got little legs. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody just dashing to get get up. You just like, well, time to run. <laughs> That's that Gimli quote. We dwarves are wasted over cross country. Much <laughs> better at short distances. No, we dwarves are natural sprinters. Very dangerous <laughs> over short distances. Thank you. <laughs> Which is... Um, yeah, so this... it turned him into a comic relief in the films. A little bit. That's most people's um, critique with it. Uh, mm. This guy locks the door. Moves around to here on you and attempts to spear you. Nope. <laughs> Denied. Sunny. Oh, actually, um, yeah, I, I guess it's time to sort of thump. All right, do the thump. Oh, yeah, you can't control it. Yeah. Thump. I, I wish you could, but, you know. I will remember to set a token up for it eventually. I mean to use it more, but I keep forgetting it's there. Da 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 da. But he took nine damage last round, and he has a uh, hit points of eleven, so even half damage kills him. <laughs> um, uh, would I have to save against it as well? It should only smack into the person yeah. it's running into. As far as I know, that's correct. All right. If not, I can always... There's nothing that says I can't reverse it away from you afterwards. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was like just like a radius of five feet around it, or if it was a specific five feet. If just in case, can I sort of smack and then reverse? Reverse to hit. Yeah, no problem. Uh, with that, you hear the guard... Uh, screaming as his nerve endings have went into oblivion. He uh, should have accepted the offer of friendship. And with <laughs> the other one still unconscious, that is your turn. And we are going to leave it there for this week. As this door is locked, but you is able to get the key and open it and lead you all up into the ground floor. I mean... You is Boy. killing this guy if nobody else is. Yeah, Sonny's just gonna go him. get his stuff. And... Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, you opens the door, um, you know, let, kind of points where everybody's stuff is, yeah. then he walks over to this guy and just slits his throat. Uh, How I does... assume Entangle is taken off. No, it's just a very awkward walk over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes a few attempts. Uh, you will kind of uh, then move and watch out uh, while everybody else gears up, and that's where... Uh... Um, before the sun runs out, I would like to uh, do a reverse Helter Skelter with it. What are you talking about? We have a spiral staircase. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, the sun will rise! 
put a pin in that and we'll revisit that at the beginning of next session. Thank you all for coming. Good job, this guys. Was... You didn't even need me. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> it, it only took you getting betrayed and then the sheer power of his anger. He just... In, in the power of Erisid, making sure that that guy couldn't get away. Mm, that was clutch. <laughs> mm. I am clutch. Alright, mm -hmm, I'm gonna mm -hmm. head off now.